Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the annual gathering of the Ark Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for Ark membership, please be aware that you have to ceremony scheduled to take place in the upper courtyard a stirring ode to rebirth and the enduring spirit of mankind i believe that is it ladies and gentlemen please enjoy your evening the bar is right up ahead Is that the, um, 
master of ceremonies. What's with that weird bird effigy? The annual phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah. Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. Rebirth. I get it. What's new is that the master of ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, whatever sells. You do it. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're the master of ceremony. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. Never go in the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. It's not a spectacle. People hate it. They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Well, what have I done? How did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh, just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Penninger. Regular. Damn. What's that? Come in. I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving in to investigate.
not accept when people are just throwing things around like this. Find out what the hell is going on, please. as a stage crew must be fun stuff. No? starting to get restless. Your peers are waiting by the stage, and the torch is ready by the money pit. Miss Washington, the Master of Ceremonies has arrived. We are good to go. Some pledge, and yet a drop in the ocean. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live, and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress, be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. How are you today, sir? Look at you, Fenneker. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live. Down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington.
follow this, huh? You're Blake Nathaniel, right? But uh, if you don't mind me asking, people have been searching for the cloud surf for a century. Wherever did you know? They've called a recess. Well, a Sophia story. Washington sure. wants yeah. them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. So, Sophia Washington has called a council meeting between the original five members of the Ark Society. Sophia hopes to pass some sort of motion, but she faces stark opposition from ultra-conservative coal baron Jebediah Block. Hmm. I suggest you find Mr. Block while the council is still in recess, 47. I suspect the headstrong Sophia will not take kindly to dissidents and troublemakers. So he's one of the original five, you know, the first people to fund the Ark Society back in 91. Plus, I just walked in on Sophia Washington screaming Block's name while beating up a pillow cushion. Oh, she was properly pissed. Jeez, must mean a lot to her. What's it about? What am I, paparazzi? I just work for these assholes, same as you. Well, keep me posted, in case teeth start flying. Can do. I need an edge, and I need it fast. Oh, I do. This is over.
via the schemer. What's she up to this time? You know that Kronstadt designer in charge of the brain upload program? Sure. What did he do? I don't know. But she seemed real interested in this invention of his. Something called a kill switch. A kill switch? Sounds ominous. Well, whatever it is she's plotting, he did not want to be part of it. But an order's an order. <laughs> Guess we've all been down that road. <laughs> Poor bastard. Well, that's what you get for inventing kill switches, I suppose. Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along, then. I'll call a vote at once. I knew you'd come around. You're stubborn, Block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of my father's think tank have been grinding the data for months, and they are rarely about. wrong. Climate change. The Karuna Sophia Agreement, Washington climate litigation. We Take estimate care, that fossil fuel companies like yours that have a decade, at best, the original before you're all resigned hey to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? What indeed? I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. Well, who cares how, as long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? Ah, hello, sir. Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with a vote. Well, you've certainly placed yourself at the crossroads of history. Nicely done, 47. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say I. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. 
Nay. Excuse me? You heard me. Nay. Oh, for the love of... Ah, oh, idiot. Son of a... Blocked. You stupid... Oh. That's... Four eyes and one nay. Jebediah Block vetoes the motion. This council is adjourned until further notice. Block. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. So, are you gonna tell me what the hell you're playing at? Just looking out for number one. Don't be an idiot. There's no future in coal, Block. You have one choice. Go green or go extinct. Now, personally, I don't give a shit if you go the way of the Dodo, but you are one of the Ark Society's biggest contributors. We'd hate to lose your business. Besides, if terrestrial coal goes under, who will pay for your children's survival? Your grandkids. After all, nobody says disaster will strike in our lifetime. You have a moral duty to stay rich, Block. Nice try, but I don't have grandchildren. You just had to make this difficult, didn't you? Here's the deal, Block. My family and I we serve a group of powerful individuals who prefer to stay anonymous. Letting the climate go to hell in a handbasket has served their interests well, but only up to a point. You see, they are sitting on some patents that'll knock your socks off. Weather control systems, recycling pollution as fuel, cold fusion, you name it. And they plan to make trillions protecting the world from the very threat they worked so hard to create, but to do so, they need you guys to quite literally stop fighting windmills. Huh. The truth at last. And what's in it for Jebediah Block? Gentlemen, please give me and Mr. Block a moment. offered you a carrot. Now, here's the stick. We know about Montana, Block. The mine collapse in 2015. It would be a shame if the American public got wind of your somewhat creative approach to safety regulations. Your popularity ratings are just south of John Wilkes Booth as it is. I see. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. Behaving yourself, I hope. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? 
How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Burnwood's assassin. Move. Modern society being what it is. My guess is that any partners no more. I take it. Nuclear. The Great Depression text. I had a notion I, something I, didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you, I wonder? Just keep walking. For what it's worth, to feel Janus always found Orkmire's project Janus distasteful, not to mention That's inefficient. I never actually knew the mayor. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Take it, this is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray, or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain who've caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not load-bearing. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. 
You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you were so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one Miss Burnwood is untouchable.